Okay, so I was trying to get a poison staff, and to do that, you need to kill black recluses, but there's a person down here. Hopefully you'll move into my house, and then we can buy what we need from you. Alright guys, so I just spent about half an hour killing black recluses. Those are the scary spiders found underground, and I finally got one, a poison staff. Now, of course, we're going to need to reforge this, but um, this is a weapon, and it shoots poison. And that alone is pretty cool. But here's the cooler part. In the Terraria 1.2.3 update, they added a way that we can make this even better. And all you need is chlorophyte for that. There it is. Venom staff. Bam! We got an annoying one, which is pretty bad. So let's go ahead and reforge this. But this can do that. It's, um, it's a pretty strong magic weapon, I would say. Uh, let's reforge this. Five gold, we can do it. Keen. That one's okay, I kind of want to do it again, but it costs a lot, so we're going to keep it as that. And, uh, yeah, this is a pretty strong weapon. It uses a lot of mana, but each one of those does 67 damage. Uh, I don't know, do they bounce off of things? No, they don't. Okay, I think that's a pretty good weapon though. Alright, so now we have this awesome Venom Staff, and uh, we're going to need to fight Skeletron Prime again. Let me explain. Uh, I want to make a corruption key for us to use in the dungeon. The only problem is, when we killed Skeletron Prime, we forgot to collect the souls from him. And as such, we don't have what we need to make that key. Um, which is kind of depressing. But what we're going to do is fight him again. We're going to be sure to get the souls this time. Uh, but we're going to try a bit of a different tactic. We're going to use this new weapon, which is a magic weapon. And we're going to switch out some of our accessories to try to make that work better. So instead of our arcane fire gauntlet, we're going to be using magic cuffs. Now, this helps with melee. This helps with magic. And instead of our cape, our star veil... Uh, that helps with invincibility, we're going to be using an, a mana flower. And the mana flower will automatically use potions whenever we need them. So, that's a pretty good thing. That's what we're going to be using. Yeah, right now I'm going to head to the dungeon and try to farm some money so that we can buy a bunch of mana potions to use for this. But, um, yeah, it's too far into the night to fight him now. So we're going to be back tomorrow night and we're going to attempt this. So here I am down here, and I just got something really really awesome uh an inferno fork <laughs> right here inferno fork this is a very incredible weapon we're going to want to be using this this one's lazy so it's got minus seven percent speed but um it kind of does this you know this attack that we hate well there you go we can do it now so take that enough of you it's it's my turn now <laughs> enjoy so I may or may not have died, and that may or may not be the reason that I'm back here, but we're going to reforge this, and that's even worse. Great. And so we try once more. That's much better. Thank you. And that's a blue rarity item. Alright, hello viewers. We are about to fight Skeletron Prime. I'm very excited. This is going to be really interesting because we have never done a battle with magic weapons before. Um, we actually have more defense wearing these two items than we do without wearing them uh, with these two things. So I think this should be good. Both of these only, well, this one only works on melee and this one is a really good item, but I'm not sure it's as good as either of these. So whenever we Whenever we take damage, we're going to get mana. Whenever we run out of mana, we're going to get more mana. And we have tons of potions. So we're just going to either hold this down the whole time. Or hold this down the whole time. Or hold this down the whole time. But, um, yeah. I think either one is going to work really well. The Blood Moon. You know what? Let's do this. Buff. Do that. And now go. We're actually doing it, guys. We're actually doing it. Stop making me get the bleeding debuff. I don't want it. It's making me die. If we die now, I'm going to be mad.
Alright, hello viewers, and welcome back to Terraria with Taylai. If you don't remember, uh, and I wouldn't expect you to because this was a long time ago, but last episode I said we killed Plantera, and that's all nice and all, but I'm sure it's not exciting at all for you guys, to be honest. So what we're going to do, we're going to spice this up a bit, we're going to break this, and then try to do a bit of dodging and weaving through the terrain here, come up here and get to this area. This is where we're going to do the actual fighting because I've got some teleporters set up to kind of game the system, I guess. No, it's not cheating because I really don't care. That's why. So we're going to do this. We're going to try to lead Plantera to that thing and then use our Inferno Fork to uh, deal the final blows, so to say. This Venom Staff kind of works. Not really. I think it's not worth it. Um, but this grenade launcher is pretty cool. Also, I did kill Plantera one more time, and she dropped a pygmy staff, as well as a seedling. And I think she dropped another rocket launcher too, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's what she dropped when I killed her a second time. We're gonna kill her a third time today. Uh, I also got a key brand, which is cool, but we don't need it. Uh, what else? I got this, a guarding black belt, from Bone Lee in the dungeon, so that's cool. And, yeah, that's about it. So, all we're gonna do now is hopefully kill Plantera, so come along with me. Here we go. Plantera has awoken. Now, we have to be sure not to move too quickly, because if we do, she will despawn. And then I'll have to spend a whole ton of time finding another one of these bulbs, and that will make me mad. Okay, let's get some starting damage on her. And then we have to come up this way. There we go. We're doing it. Just have to remember not to move too quickly. Oh, that hit her. Awesome. Alright, we have to come up this way. I'm supposed to be in that shaft right there, but hopefully I'm okay. Yeah, we can come in this way. I don't want to move too fast because she will despawn, and that will be sad. So, wow, that fire lasts for a very long time. Okay, come up this way. Oh, hi. There you are. Now come this way, just keep coming. All we have to do is get her to the teleporters and then we can finish her. Uh, which way do we go? Oh gosh. Hi. Hi, don't shoot me. Um, we're gonna come up this way. Aha, yep, this is it right here. All we have to do, yep, don't despawn. I've done this three times where I move too quickly and she just disappears and I'm like, Ah, so mad right now type of thing so we really don't want that to happen again um, needless to say but here we are so let's get a look at this setup that I have we can quickly dunk ourselves in the honey to regenerate and now we're going to boot teleport and we're good to go I'm gonna keep my mouse on on this lever so we can teleport when needed uh, but now we just shoot over this way and we should be able to kill her fairly quickly um, we can teleport like this Notice how he just drank a potion automatically. There we go. Do this. Soon she's gonna start like hooking her claws onto us though, and that's no fun. So yeah, I mean, watch, she's gonna stick a claw right onto us. And that's not that's not the best. But we should be able to do this fairly easily. And we have plenty of mana potions. Yeah, see? She she just did it right there. Soon she'll stick it straight onto where we're standing, and then that hurts. Um Okay, we're just gonna take a little bit of a beating here, because we can, and now, now we'll get out. Let's heal now, so that we'll be able to later get the cooldown running, uh, just, just because. There we go. Get right there, perfect. There's probably better weapons for this, but I don't care. Okay, there we go. How's our life doing? We have some. We have some. Oh, she's hitting me with that. She's gonna move faster and faster and faster. Whoa, did you see that? Uh-oh, we're low on health. Let's get out into the open and do a bit of... I can never kill her on camera. This isn't fair. This is unfair. Really? Oh my gosh. I can't do it on camera, guys. I don't know why. This is stupid. I don't even know. Yeah, so that was a complete fail, but we really don't need to let it bother us. Um, here we are. We're just gonna leave all the gold that we left over there because we stopped carrying a long time ago. Uh, also, the pirates came. I killed them. It was somewhat unimpressive, so we're not gonna mention that anymore. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do today at all. 
there's nothing left to do. I don't even know what we should do. I think we need to find the... Let's see. We need to go into the jungle, the underground jungle, and try to find the temple. Because we actually have the temple key. So I guess I'll go find the temple, and then I'll be right back, maybe? Alright guys, you're not gonna believe this, but in a very surprising turn of events, I, um... I decided to walk along here, and I dug straight down, and I was just trying to find, uh, you know, the jungle, and I figured out it was actually all the way over here. So I come straight down here, and after a little bit of exploring, I run into this. This little strange structure, which is actually the thing we were trying to find, the lizard temple thing. And... I can't believe it, but we actually just found it. Like, here it is. However, there's a problem. Uh, we can't break the blocks to get in. I'm pretty sure the only entrance is right here. And if you can't see, it is completely surrounded by lava. There is not an opening big enough for me to get into this. Um, it's just covered in a huge pool of lava. So we have two options uh, that I can see. We can either go get a lava potion. Hold on, let's see what this is. Okay, we have a pet tree. We'll keep that with us, I guess. Um, yeah, we have two options. Get a potion or try to brave the lava. Now, the thing is, if I like break even one of these blocks, all the lava's just going to drain. Uh, and I don't think we have a good area to put it uh, right here. Let's see. Do we? No. What we could do... Is just dig this down like this and then hope to find a cave oh my gosh no there's the dungeon right there so yeah like this is going to be kind of insane uh whoa what the heck oh that's my plant uh yeah hopefully wait is this cave big enough yes this cave should help a lot so what we're gonna do is open the floodgates and drop all the lava into here Hopefully that'll work so that we can actually get in because it's ridiculous. Um, it's completely surrounded by lava. It's kind of funny actually, it's like just my luck. I can't believe that I couldn't kill Plantera for you. I wanted to show you that I've actually been able to do it before. You know, like that I had done it in the past, I wasn't just faking. Like I hacked in the items or something. I have done it, but I apparently can't do it for you. That's That would be much too difficult or something. I don't even know. Okay, so we're going to stand up here, right where the cursor is, but we're going to break this. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let this drain, and hopefully when it's done, we can get in. Okay, we're getting pretty close here. I'm not going to have too much more... I don't have that much more time to record, um, so that's a little bit sad, but we're going to at least start exploring this dungeon. And it should be pretty cool. I mean, we're at least going to see some of it. Uh, and I think we should be able to get in almost any second. Uh, as soon as this last little bit of lava disappears, we should be able to. It looks like there's plenty of room. It's just taking a long time to drain because, you know, it's a huge mass of liquid. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this works. Let's be all dangerous about it. I'm not immune to lava. <laughs> um... And I think I have some of the best armor in the game. I'm still not immune to lava, so it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's jump right here. Can we jump right here? Yes. And we're gonna... You know what? I want to get a hammer out here. And let's put that here for now. Fix this, please. There we go. Okay, I don't want it to look like there's lava. Okay, so we have access. Let's go. I'm gonna come down here. And, come on, let me in. We are in, and we are go. So, here we are. It looks like there's tons of crazy stuff in here, and we need to unlock the door. Uh, first, let's dispatch these guys. Uh, oh, it's got music. It's got music. There we go. Okay, unlock. Ba-bam. Door is open. This is... Oh my gosh. What on earth? Why did they put a trap right there? Wait, hold on, what is this? Uh, there's a trap right there. Okay, shut the door on you. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, that's a flame trap. Sunglasses, forget those. I made those. We don't want them. 
Oh, this is going to be one of the, Yeah, Flame Trap. That's kind of awesome. Uh, lizard Pressure Plate. Going to need that. Uh, golden Toilet. Get out of here. Pirate Stuff. Not needed. Not needed at all. Uh, ooh, a Workbench. That looks awesome. Whoa, there's things down there we're going to have to check out. Uh, we don't need this. We have a ton of them. Looks like there's an upgraded... Is this... These right there. Those look like the spikes. They might be like an upgraded version. Okay. Oh, we have the broken armor debuff. Dang it. That's going to be a big problem. Only 35 defense. Hopefully we can make do. Um, let's do this. Let's see how this works. There we go. Let's shoot another one. That actually works really well. Uh oh, they're coming. Okay, nope, we got them. Phew. Shoot another one. This seems to be working really well. I just want to be careful because of our armor. Um, whoa, there's a lot of those guys there. Hi, uh, you're just called lizards, aren't you? Oh, wow. These traps are deadly. That's a super dart trap. Don't need the souls of light. Let's heal while we can. Ooh, it's crazy. So, flying snake, it looks like. Oh, there's another pressure plate there. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. What trap do you think there was here? Oh, a lizard chair. A watcher statue. Oh, there's so much cool stuff. We need those two things. Oh, no. I should not have... I should have brought more inventory room. I just want to say that right now. Wow, we have no room at all. You know what? We're going to roll with it. It's going to be fine. All right, give me those. We can always come back, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, let's see what we've got. More lizards, basically. Uh, can we kill them? This thing should work, right? Come on, thing. Oh, yeah, like that. There we go. Yeah, like this. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay. Did we get any good loot? Oh my gosh, more traps. Those are like spiky... Whoa, those hurt. Those really hurt. Um, let's avoid that. There's so many traps. It's so hard to spot them all. Uh, oh, there's a guy. Got him. There's a lizard statue. We probably need that. Uh, do we have this one? No, that's a guardian statue. There we go. We can get rid of that. This is crazy. We'll eat whatever that is. Night Owl Potion, looks like. Um, oh, more trap. Got it. Oh, gosh. Oh, th that was nothing. Okay. Whoa, a table. Okay, cool. We can get rid of a bed. We don't need any of the pirate stuff. Just forget it. We don't need it. Um, okay. What can we do down here? You know what? Let's just do this. <laughs> That'll work. That was actually very, very effective. Um, I wonder if we would have gotten any drops from that. You'd think we would have gotten something. Maybe these guys don't really drop much. That would make sense, but yeah, we didn't get anything from that. That's okay. Oh, man. There is some crazy stuff here. Spear trap. We're gonna need that. Uh, we can get rid of something, right? We have to get it. Get those spear traps. Um, yeah, we can get rid of him. We'll just get rid of the torches. We don't care. Okay. I think we can leave the traps in. We're just gonna come back later when we have more room. I think. Oh, a chest. Power cell. We don't have room. We'll just leave it in there for now. But we're definitely going to have to be coming back here. So I'm going to have to end this episode here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm Yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one in which we will continue to explore this dungeon. I have to go for now. Otherwise, this would be longer. So sorry about that. Um, ignore those. Let's see if we can get a teeny bit further right before we go. Um, let's see. Here we go. There we go. That's really effective. Um, it's just like, it's the traps you have to watch out for. That's what it seems like. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed. I will catch you in the next episode. Have a great day, and bye!